Warning, hull integrity failing. This vessel is entering the Singularity's event horizon. Let's find our treasure and get out of here. Vessel disintegration imminent. All crew advised to abandon ship. <laughs> Entities identified. Beginning mandatory royal edict playback. I, King Eric Drain the Third, find my throne under attack. Traitors aim to take what rightfully belongs to me. The wealth of Dubrillion will not fall into the hands of my enemies. Instead, I will remove it from their reach. My royal executioner droid will sabotage this vessel's hyperdrive and exterminate you, the crew, to ensure there is no rescue. You served me well in life. In death, you will serve me better. Goodbye, my subjects. Royal Edict playback complete. Initiating execution protocols. Stand down, droid. Your ruler sent me here. Internal Chrono estimates King Arak Drayon III has been deceased 106 years. Your statement is unlikely. <coughs> Executing now. <laughs> Captain? Bet you're surprised to see me. I'm only surprised you have the guts to face me in person. Let's say you've earned my personal attention. See, I've always believed if you can't beat them, join them, and then beat them. So, I stowed away back on Narshada. All I had to do was wait for you to leave and then give that idiot Corso another smack in the back of the head. What do you say we split the treasure? Generous. But I'm not good at sharing. I want to be civil about this. Sure, you've made my life miserable, but I don't hold a grudge. Really. Should have quit while you were behind, Skavik. And miss all this fun? Not a chance. Bottom line, there's nothing you have that I can't steal. They say the best things in life are free, and I'm the best. Don't be a tease, Captain. My heart is fragile. You know, we're so much alike. We don't have to be enemies, do we? Can't say I never thought about you and me together. I've done crazier things, but never with someone so gorgeous. Definitely worth the risk. After all this build-up, I was expecting you to be... more. Well, yeah, well, so did... me too. I don't quite know how to do this with a lady like you, Captain. Court you, I mean. On Ord Mantell, we had rules about that sort of thing. With my fiancée, 
I got permission from her father first, and we had a few chaperone dates between our families. Since when do you have a fiancé? I never saw her after my family died. My whole world blew up and I just... ran. I wish I'd let her down more gently, but... she wasn't even in the same galaxy as you. I know it's different here, but... Captain, may I have permission to seek your hand? If that means roses, love letters, and sneaking kisses before we're supposed to, I'm all for it. Well, I'll work on the roses and the love letters. The rest, I, I think we can manage. Captain, I've been meaning to ask. Did you happen to, when you fought Skavik, was Torchy there? She's all yours, Corso. Use her in good health. Oh, Dorothy! It's good to have you back, girl. I'm not letting another man touch you ever again. Thank you, Captain. I wasn't using it anyway. Besides, our captain has returned. You made it. Open this thing before it's too late. Give me the reliquary. I want to see these treasures before I die. This box belonged to a King Arak Drayan. Relative of yours? My grandfather. A usurper stole his throne. But he got the last laugh. Dragons always do. I'll enter the code my father taught me. And there. Such a simple act to fulfill a lifetime of effort. Congratulations, Captain. Knock Drain's lost fortune is yours. With one exception. Take the crown, Risha. Claim your birthright. Restore the Drayan dynasty as rulers of Dubrillion. Wear the crown and rule that world. Your whole crazy treasure hunt has been to get some kingdom back? Our kingdom. And revenge on the usurpers who stole our throne. Remember those assassins on Tatooine? They were sent by the current king of Debrillion to end me. Why didn't you tell me that back on Tatooine? The less people who know the truth, the better. You saw what happened to my friend Ardila, and she didn't know anything. Don't concern yourself with the fates of others. You have more important things to worry about. If you're going to rule a world, Risha, you'll have to do questionable things. This is my final lesson to you. The Spacer has fulfilled her purpose. Dispose of her, and keep the Reliquary's treasures for yourself. Try anything and you're all dead. Shut up, you fool. No, father. I won't kill her. She's my friend. You... useless child. Spent too many years without my guidance. You're weak. Powerless. Everything I've done... The blood I've spilled... For nothing. <clears throat> This is not how it's supposed to end. <laughs> Dispose of my father's body as he instructed Dr. Chela. You are released from my family's service. I'm sorry you had to see that, Captain. My father was sick. I appreciate you not trying to kill me. After all you've done, that would have been highly ungrateful. You're a wealthy woman, Captain. That reliquary holds more than just family heirlooms. Merchants will be killing each other to buy what you're selling. Not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Everyone I've met from Dubrillion has tried to kill me. 
I don't have an army or a star fleet. I'm supposed to take over a whole planet with just a crown. I'm sure we'll come up with a brilliant plan, Your Highness. I have a feeling you're just in it for the money, but I can live with that. I'll make sure all the right people hear what you did today, Captain. It's the least I can do. Besides, famous starship captains attract profitable opportunities, and queens in training can never have too many credits. Let's hit the hyperlanes. <laughs>